good morning students welcome back to our social studies class so today in this class we will learn about chapter 5 the name of the chapter is time is of the essence so students as you know that time is very important and very precious to all of us and there is also a famous proverb says that time and tides wait for none so students time and tides will wait for nobody time goes on continuously so as you can see here that time is divided in three parts that is the time which are happening now the right now is the present time as we are studying so this is the present time the time which has already passed or it had happened in the past that is past time and the things that will happen in the future is a future time so next we have is the story of akas so this is in the book you have seen that there is a story given about a little boy akas so akas and his family wanted to go to goa in the summer vacation and akas is very excited to go to goa because Akas has never been to Goa and he have not seen the sea beaches before. So Akas woke up in the next morning and he got ready with all his packings done and he is just staring at the clock in the hall. Now Akas could not wait anymore and he just went upstairs to his room to see his wristwatch. So when he saw his wristwatch, it's already 8.30, but the clock in the hall is showing the time 7.30. So the clock in the hall was not working. So as Akash saw that it's already 8.30, the family rushed to the station. So if Akash would have not seen the time in his wristwatch, the family would have missed the train. So time is very important students and now in the present time we calculate time or we see the time using a device called clock so as you can see this kind of clock we use nowadays to see the time so next we have student is measuring the time so how to measure the time as you know that if you want to measure a thing that is very tall or if you want to measure your height you need some kind of measuring tape and if you want to measure your weight you need a weighing machine likewise if you want to calculate time or if you want to see the time you need a clock so nowadays we are using a clock clock has come from a French word that is cloth and the meaning of cloth is bell. So we will see the devices used in the olden days for measuring time. First is the oblix. So oblix is a kind of monument. It's a uh, tall tower in a country Egypt and the Egyptian people, the people those who live in Egypt are called Egyptian people. So those people they see that time in the olden days. They used to see the time using that monument as the sun rises and the sun cast the shadow and according to the casting of the shadow they used to predict the time next we have is sundials so sundial is also a device used in the olden days and it uses sun to tell the time as the sun moves around the sky this devices the shadow of the sun also move within these devices so according to the movement of the shadows in this sundial they used to predict the time in the olden days next we have is water clocks so as this sundial was not so accurate to calculate the time the next device we have is water clocks so this water clocks is also used to calculate the time as the sundial was not so accurate to calculate the time so to avoid dependence of the sun we have invented the water clocks 
so in water clocks the timing is measured and the small amount of water is being dripped in the container and they see the time taken by the container to reach to the lower compartment next we have is the hourglass so hourglass is also a kind of devices that are used to calculate the shorter period of time as you have seen in three devices that they are being used to calculate the longer period of time but the shorter period of time like five minutes or two minutes is being calculated using hourglass so in hourglass there are two containers the upper container and the lower container so the in our glass the sand is poured in the upper compartment and they usually seize the time taken by the sand to reach the lower compartment from the upper compartment so like this we can measure the shorter period of time so students we will do till here today and the next uh, topics we will discuss in our next class.